This has been one of the best times of my life. Everybody that I've met has been open and genuine and friendly, and I tend to be somebody who's very introverted and shy. Everybody's just welcomed me with open arms, and it's been so beautiful to feel accepted and to explore my uh, vulnerabilities. People have come from all around the world to create a container that we all didn't expect. A perfect blend of life experience and culture, all aiming for the same thing. Connection, breath, healing. Meeting all of those people and being so open and um, yeah, to really feel into myself and be myself and knowing that everyone around me is accepting that and not judging, just taking me as I am. I'm witnessing people go through remarkable transformative changes, uh, looking into their shadows, looking into really issues that have been with them all of their lives and addressing them with noticeable movement, forward movement, and reasonable tools for them to take home. Breath camp means for me a coming together of people to help each other, assist each other, hold space for each other to move through that which might not be serving them. It's an opportunity to breathe, to connect, and to go inside deeper. The reason why I do this, the reason why I'm here, is because Anthony embodies something that I have seen no, nowhere else with any other teachers, and it's that awareness of the shadow, the inner child, our gifts, where we stand. And I serve this work because those even four parts that I just named right there have changed my life forever. The power, I, I, it, it's hard to find words to describe the, the power of coming together this way and working together, bearing our wounds and healing them with each other's support and accountability. The authenticity comes from these people doing their deep inner work by not escaping or bypassing, but by embracing every, every part of themselves, even the darkest and the grittiest, to be held in the parts that we're ashamed of, to be loved. There's so much love here and so much awareness of the bigger picture of what we're here to do to change ourselves and how that changes the world. The important aspect that breathwork has brought to my life is the change in the quality of the relationships. The relationships I have with others, but also more importantly, the relationship that I have to myself. It's not like this, I look for an answer. It's I breathe and the answers come up. Sometimes there is no question, but answers come up. It comes in a way naturally. It comes like, yeah, something is opening. Something is opening the heart, the mind, the, the whole being. When Breath Camp started, it was really a graduation for students. Now it's evolved not just into a retreat, but a debut for these graduates. They've really done their work and they've made their journey. And they get to come out with who they are, what they've become, and to become leaders in the community. 
This community gives us so much strength. When we stand together, we are stronger also to bring changes in our lives, in our personal life, but in our surroundings and finally to the whole system, to the whole planet. For the graduates who are finishing their training here, this is the place where they come and open their gifts to the world. And it is where they start to change the world. It is one of the most profound experiences that you will ever have. I'm a different person. I'm really uh, where I started when I finished. I am very different person in a very good way. It seems like I really come back to my true essence and I start following my true path. And it's no way back. It's definitely no way back. What you need to become a facilitator is willingness. Willingness to go into the deepest parts of yourself and be okay with that. To sit with that, to open up, to allow yourself to grow. One of the guiding principles of our work is that I can't be present unless I'm present with myself. If I've got to support someone on a journey which may require looking at themselves deeply, uncovering a suffering or a pain that might have been buried away, there's no way I can do that unless I'm prepared to do that myself. So all of our facilitators, that's what we've been doing throughout the whole training. We're learning how to always seek the weakest link of our being and bring it back into wholeness. It's one of those places and spaces where we have a chance to dive so deep and into such tender, intimate places with ourselves on an emotional, psychological, very physical way and also a social way. It offers an opportunity to dive deep on one hand and really open up in the most uh, soft and gentle way to all that is. Most of the students that come have been compelled to move out of an old way of being and to stand up as leaders, people who are fed up with sitting in the shadow and not stepping into their, to their full power. So that's really what this is about. It's how do we get a grip with these tough external situations without doing our inner work first. Alchemy is a personal journey. It is about personal transformation and becoming the person who is worthy and capable of holding the space for others and conducting breathworks. It's amazing to see the facilitators come to this point, to see them open up, to see them, you know, blossom and uh, be able to hold such a, a sacred space. My goal is that each graduate of this training is capable to be with someone in their last hour of their life. That's the level of safety that we need to feel as human beings if we're going to explore that deeply. The change, most recent change we've made this time is to include in this breath camp something called the alchemist, which is a journey of cleansing, of personal transformation. The alchemist is a deconstruction of our selves from day one, coming into birth and how we related to the world how we've built ourselves up and gone living and now are becoming aware that certain things aren't working and in order to heal from inside to do this journey of healing from deep inside we have to go back and we go back from approaching our bodies which is the archive of everything that's ever been and anything that's ever coming so the alchemist embodies that deconstruction from deep inside so that we can feel So the program of The Alchemist 
basically gives us the opportunity to look at all the different stages with that and to um, engage with the shadow aspects of self, the personas that we adopt, the inner child, the wisdom that we come to. So I see it as a, a, a journey of soul and spirit and of our human longings where we can really have the opportunity to identify what those longings might be and give them voice and give them space. The thing about the breath is you never know what's going to come up, so it's a surprise every single time. I've bumped into things from relationships in the family, parenting, childhood traumas, to having ecstatic laughing fits and uh, the best time of my life. As long as you breathe and you bring presence and you follow the breath, it will lead you, it will unravel, it will bring you closer to your inner authority, to your center of being. The breathing session itself reminds me a little bit of uh, giving birth because you go into that with maybe fear, with joy because you know that this will do something with you. Through the breath your body reacts and you start to move, you, maybe you cry or you sweat, maybe you um, yeah, are moving so, so quickly with your legs or your arms and it looks sometimes really as giving birth to something. You may get your legs up and hold yourself and by the end something is released, something comes out, a little treasure, a little wonder that was inside of you that you were not aware of. I could never have known it was going to give me this much. Like I felt a little feeling of resistance or felt a little numb to life. And I feel like day by day I'm breaking through that and feeling more and more happy to be human and to be here at this time. It's the one time in the one modality that you have to cut through the mental chatter, get you out of your head, into your body, to figure out what's really going on. And so we live our lives completely unconscious. And then you start to find breath work and it introduces these feelings that come up and from that, you get to breathe into them and breathe beyond them. And it reshapes who you are, how you relate to the world, and it makes you a kinder, more loving, gentler person. But beyond that, it can be super empowering. It's like, it is transformation that comes from within. That's really what this is about. It's how do we get a grip with these tough external situations without doing our inner work first. Let's not forget none of us could do this without Anthony and his holding of the container, it's almost like he has the arms, the big arms, the, the whole embrace and then that ripples down and it ripples down the teachers, the mentors, the students, the people and the breathers who come are our teachers. Their capacity just to support whatever comes up helps this group and me as a person to trust to let go um, and that's a special feeling uh, really really to trust because it means that the same amount of inner conflict can be released when you really feel safe. It's a safety I haven't had, it's a skin I haven't had um, before, it's like a containment uh, I've been working with boundaries all my life, um, but this is a boundary that belongs to me, no one can take it away. And uh, so I'm getting a safety within myself that I've never experienced. Yeah, it's bringing me home, even though I'm coming up for my 61st birthday and I feel, wow, it's, it's, it's never too late to, as someone said, have a happy childhood. It's not just us, it's not just the facilitators and the teachers, it's the people themselves. The fragility of humanity that's shown and shared and how each of us is a piece of a jigsaw. And when we come together, there's a bigger picture that's made. 
if you're looking for a community, a space where you can unravel, heal, remember, I believe this space is for you, for any, for anyone. Come be with us. Let's have some fun. <laughs> let's play. Let's breathe. And let's do our inner work.